Okay, tier lists. Okay. Um, for number one, I think what what I what the vibe I get from this this one is that um, you know we're entering a magical land and uh, this it's it's a it's a world that we don't truly understand and there are mysteries that will never be solved and there's a dark force upon this world that's and and, and then there are like dolphins at the end and, and I don't know it's it's really like. Catch it's really really easy to listen to, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it. I know, I know, I know this is gonna be kind of controversial, but I think I'm gonna put it this one in S tier. This is a very good song. Um, and then for number two, I think uh, when I when I listen to this, um, I I feel like we're entering an ancient temple, and something there's some something dark residing in this temple and and this temple has knowledge the world has long forgotten uh, so I don't like this one as much as um, number one so I'm gonna probably put this one here an S that's pretty good okay and now number three number three it's like uh, we're getting close to the darkness in this temple and then it's upon us but it cannot harm us because we are just visitors to this to this land so i'm gonna put this one in s because it's great it's a good eight song number four now number four makes me see a door and what you seek your goal whatever you want in life is behind that door as you reach out to it you can feel the door reaching back you get to, you start to see visions of your past and glimpses in your future so i'm going to put this one they really this is this one's pretty long so I don't really like like that too much but so I'll put it in B. Uh, then number five. Uh, now we're somewhere new. Where do we go? We're not in this temple anymore. But now there's dark earth cracked and dry all around us. A city. It's white and gold. Um, but. It's in ruins. Uh, this one, I'm gonna put C. Yeah. Okay, and then six. Six. The city was once great. There was once peace, but not anymore. Much was lost, and you can you can really hear the cries of the past. So this one's going up in A. Very nice. Okay, number seven. Number seven tells me that what happened in number six to the city was um, because of the darkness, the darkness that resided in the temple. Um, there was a great battle. And the darkness overcame. It's it's really like kind of melancholy, so and like you can feel the emotion in it. So I'm gonna put an egg. Not quite S, but I'd say that's good enough. Okay. Number eight. Okay, number eight doesn't tell me a whole lot. It tells me that. Despite that darkness crushing the city, there is hope. That's not a whole lot. It's quite short. Maybe a minute long, maybe less. So I'm going to put that in, in D. Because it does tell me a whole lot. Uh, okay, and then the number nine. Okay, this will explain. This will better explain why I put this in D. Number nine tells me that that hope is not anywhere uh, close. 
uh, it's not really gonna matter, you know? And that the darkness is in control. So I'm gonna put this one uh, in B. B tier. And then number 10, um, this one tells me that the darkness is unstable. And then, like out of nowhere, that the hope has returned and that the past repeats and a battle happens. So this one's really like climactic. Uh, so I'm going to put this one in S because it's really freaking good. Um, and then... Number 11 is like, the battle has passed, but we don't know who won. And it's just like teasing, it's teasing the idea that you, and then we never find out who wins. And, it, and, and I'm going to put that in S2 because that really speaks to me. All right, number 12. Makes me see an island. It's alive and thriving. There are creatures that have been lost in time here. But we cannot stay. We must depart. And then we start to go. We start to leave. So I think this one's pretty good. So I'm going to put this one in A. Not S, but A. Um, okay. 13. Boom. A moon looms in front of us. One of many. Um, we, we, we go forward. There are more, there are ruins on the moon. Great cities that are decayed and, and rusted. A race long past once lived here. Where did they go? This one's pretty f sweet. I'm going to put this one in A. Uh, and then 14. Hmm. Okay, 14. We're in a new place. Rolling hills. Grass. With, and the wind is blowing in waves over the grass. You can see the wind on the grass. Something significant has happened here. We don't know what. In the distance, a beast of immeasurable size has and it's hazed by the atmosphere. It's so big. It wanders. S. I'm gonna put that in S. And then uh, number fifteen. Uh, now we're somewhere new. And, and you know when when this starts, it tells me we're somewhere new. And our and our. But, okay. Alright. Number 15. 15 tells me that we're somewhere new. We look and we, we overlook the world. This, this realm. This planet. That we have been venturing through. This is our final stop in our journey. But it's not it's not a sad it's not sad. We're not it's it's kind of hopeful. It tells me that this isn't goodbye forever. We travel back and then we're home. It's a really good goodbye. So I'm going to put it in S. 
And uh, Taco Bell, uh, B. Live Moss. <laughs>